Another little dog in Santee is recovering tonight after a brutal attack from a pit bull on the loose. The big dog had been on a leash just moments before, and 10 News reporter Michael Chen has the terrible chain of events. A collar and leash tied to a runaway pit bull. That is the heart stopping sight one dog owner saw as she tried to walk to the park. Early Wednesday morning, just outside Big Rock Park in Santee, Lonnie Vang and her two dogs, including three year old Charlie Daniel, were on the street. The entrance was like 200 feet away. Walking to an off leash section of the park when a woman on a bike rode past with a pit bull. So the dog was pretty much leashed and tied to the bike this way. It was running right beside the bike. Moments later, Vang says she glanced back and felt a sheer panic. Somehow the 50 pound pit bull had gotten off its leash. I see the dog come charging, uh, charging at my dog, started chasing my dog in circle. I somehow just stood froze and just said, oh my God, oh my God. Vang says the reddish brown pit bull clamped down on her dog's back like a chew toy. One of the witness was hitting the dog from the back. The owner was hitting the dog. For an eternal three or four minutes, the pit bull wouldn't let go. Vang says she's disappointed in her own actions. I was crying. Um, all I can do was cry. Vang tells us she was so shell-shocked when the pit bull finally let go and she saw her own dog. She was bleeding and scared. Vang took off without getting the pit bull owner's information. Charlie Daniels suffered four deep bite marks on her back and needed surgery, but she is recovering. The vet bill a thousand dollars and growing. Now she's going public with a plea. I'm hoping that the, the owner steps up and maybe help with the vet bill. Michael Chen, 10 News.